I am from Chicago. I moved down here in 1980. No. Yeah. 80. No. Okay. 80. I grew up around here. Yeah. So we uh, dated in high school. Yes. We saw each other off and on. Was married. The last time we were both single and we've been together 12 years. My daughter had some issues with drugs. And we took responsibility for our granddaughters while she worked on her issues. It got to the point where the girls, we were going to be adopting them. We started fostering them, you know, because it was what we had to do. You know, after we adopted them, we actually started doing the fostering program. We had been dealing with the adult child because of our girls. That's who was doing their visitation for both their mother and their father. And the first class that we went to, they showed videos, you know, talked about the children that are out there and, and what they're going through now. Honestly, we went in that day with nothing but our girls on our mind. Before the end of the day, we talked and it was like we have an extra bedroom. We can help other children out there. We decided we would open our home for children who need it. I mean, even now, everyone I talk to, I talk to them about fostering. Every child should have a home with parents, even foster parents who love them and want to watch out and protect them. The first fosters are the toughest because you don't know what to do with them. It helps that I'm a big kid, so. I like to tell people I'm the oldest teenager that will ever make your life. Kids Young are... teenager, you know, like 12, yeah. going on 13. We want any child that's in our home to leave better. The with, girls are with the very ones receptive. Yeah. You know, and, and part of that is too is because we talk to them. I mean, it's like any any other kid, if you talk to them and make them understand, you know, we're doing this to help these children. Well, then that makes them want to help. Hopefully, and I'm true, and I do mean hopefully, that our girls will be more helpful towards people when they get older. I'm talking to some lady yesterday, where she said, "Well, I think I get too attached to them." And you do, but what you got to look at, they get going back with a set of caring parents better than they were when they got here. Well, that okay, that's the reward for me. <laughs> the girls and the adoption, that was something that we talked about with them. They knew what was going to happen. When we went to court that day, they were dressed and ready to go, and it was yeah, very exciting, we yes. They've always been our grandchildren, and they always will be, obviously, but they don't look at it like that. We are their mom and dad, that we have been since they were born. I mean, my daughter, God bless her, but she had her problems, and they ended up here. What I love most about Foster, uh, I, I just love kids, and I like seeing them safe. I mean, that, that for me really pretty much sums it up. For anybody who wants to foster, it, it's really rewarding. I mean, you know, it, it, yeah, it's tough sometimes. It really is. You I mean there's those days that I really should be bald, but uh, I, I love the kids. They are so much fun. We want them to to feel like they're part of the family. Part of the family. Yeah, seeing them grow grow and be happy and I mean that that really is is the best part. Enriching a little one's it, life is probably the best but I, I'd say that's the best thing about it. And and it's I and mean, it's it really is. it's reciprocal because it is. we could easily say, okay, you know, we've done the fostering thing and now we can just raise our girls and, and you know but just to know that there are kids that are out there that need somebody that's going to be their advocate, be their champion. Sometimes you feel like they're pushed aside and you're not giving them any attention that they need, which and is what we're here for. Yeah, that's, that's, that's your job as a foster 